We often find that young people, or even even people my age, you know, you you rarely think that far ahead. Utopia is looking at the future of old. So what what will old age be like for the current generation of young people? Just getting them to think a little bit more about what they need to do now, so that in the future they have a rich and and um, fruitful old age. Yeah. Okay. We knew we wanted to make it an intergenerational project. We didn't want it to be reacting to what old is now. So we wanted to work with young people to discuss with them what it would be like for them in the future and get a sense of what their concerns are now so that we might have some time to influence what happens for them as older people in the future. So we, we took stories from the elderly from care homes and hospitals and we used them to devise a piece of what we think elderly life is going to be and what what things going to impact us while we're elderly. I'm grandpa, I'm <laughs> we had come up with this idea and then Arts Lancashire wanted to do um, a commission around arts and health and they chose Altopia as the project because it wasn't just about the artistic side of it, it had a strategic aspect to it in that it, it was trying to influence policy makers and the NHS and the CCGs. And there's, there's a disconnect between the, the younger and older generations, which is why it's an opportunity for the audience to listen to young people about what they see their old age being like and what, what are some of the things that they might need as they grow into their old age. It's also about continuing that, that sense of real connectivity. Whilst it's important, I think, you know, technology can enhance someone's life no end, but I think sometimes it can also restrict and, and further isolate people. What I want to happen is that we still, so we still talk. We don't use our phones to talk to each other. We start a conversation with each other. Every now and again, even if you don't know them or not, old, young, doesn't matter. When you start a conversation, it makes you feel better. It's after all, we are human. About what it is to grow old. We come in and we, we present them with the facts about ageing, about being an older person now and what it might look like in the future. And we talk around the subject. We took them into a care home in Blackpool. We took them into a hospital where they met patients who were obviously older. From that, we work with them to devise a piece around the information that they have gathered and that we have presented to them. We thought it was really interesting to look at, you know, what advice would you give to yourself now for your old age so that you can constantly be thinking about that and not let not let not let go of those things that you really enjoy make the best of life yeah right. because um, you sort of don't realize how quickly it goes yeah, yeah. <laughs> i also hope that the impact is around change and changing people's perceptions of what it is to be a young person and what it is to be an older person um, and try and kind of build bridges between between those two generations because I think together we're far more stronger than we are apart. For the young people, I think it has really opened their eyes in terms of um, what it is like to be an older person now and to maybe actually get them to think a bit more long term about their own lives and what they want for themselves. It's certainly made them more empathic towards each other and also towards the people that they've been working with. I have a lot to take with me when I'm old. Memories, the good times and the bad, I suppose. It's definitely changed by the young elderly people. There's a quite a stigma that elderly people are very really frail and very delicate, but most times they're, they're quite strong-minded and strong-hearted, and although their bodies may be quite frail, they themselves are not. Their experiences will help me further myself. You've heard their stories, and that's not something anyone would take away from you. You've heard what they've been through in life and it can only help you more as a person. To make it well, the Queen was a princess and the war started. Ask me, because I was going into the army, if I would look after you. So, uh, I said, yeah, go 
I hope it's the beginning of a conversation that we can have that enables us to maybe influence how they plan for future services, how they consider the people who are young today, what they might need when they're older. It's definitely been a roller coaster, but the pressure, although I'm not very good with pressure, it's definitely helped me and I've come out of my comfort zone and I don't want to go back in. <laughs>